random, random, ordinary person. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Jeff is one of the mentees, so he definitely gets uh, his comment read and, and focused on. How to control the urge to move while trying to sleep aware. Ah, willpower, concentration and willpower. And this is exactly why. So what he's talking about, you all, because he's one of the mentees, so he might have a little more insight than what uh, you all are aware of. What he's talking about is being able to put your body to sleep while remaining awake and aware and conscious so that you can be aware of the moment when your consciousness shifts from your physical body in the third dimension to your soul in the fourth dimension and in the astral body and start experiencing your dreams. It's one of the best, one of the most powerful forms of lucid dreaming. So what he's saying is, because there's checkpoints that go on, and go watch, go watch my page, Astral, um, or check on my page, Lucid Dreaming, How to Lucid Dream, Metaphysical Master, How to Lucid Dream. You'll see all types of videos on it. But you can put yourself to sleep and allow, you, allow your body to fall asleep and remain awake, and then you'll experience leaving your body. And so one of the checkpoints, the very first checkpoint, because there's different checkpoints to make sure that you that you have to get past to be able to do this, to make sure, and this is a safeguard so that you have a strong enough level of con concentration and willpower to be able to move around the subconscious mind freely because, you know, you need to have enough level of control of yourself to not, you know, create, cause any damage uh, inadvertently to yourself because if anybody, it'd be like... It'd be like, you know, allowing a, a toddler to start driving a car. No, you need to have enough level of responsibility, awareness, and sense of self to be able to drive this vehicle consciously. So what happens, one of the first checks is that your body, your brain will send signals to the body to make you want to just move, roll over, or start itching. You know I mean, that's usually the main two. You'll start just, but it'll be some kind of urge to cause you to move. And you have to have enough concentration on what you're doing and enough willpower to be able to let that get past that checkpoint. What I always suggest is focus on your breath. Watch your breath like you watch TV. Flashy I am, share the live. They get a follow, but they always get a follow because they always share the live. <laughs> so when you are going to sleep and allowing that moment to happen, then uh, what I would suggest is give your attention to the breath so jeff um have you hey jeff have you started the uh the oh wait yeah 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 of course you did <laughs> i'm tripping because jeff just became a mentee but he had been i've been working with him for a while with the keys of success course and concentration so jeff essentially what you're going to want to do is turn your breath into the candle flame so the candle flame for the concentration exercise just make that your breath and give your attention to your breath and that and that urge to move or shift or scratch or something that's a, just a distraction. So just like with the concentration exercise with the candle flame, remove your attention from the distraction, place your attention on where you want it to be, which is the breath, and just continue to watch your breath. Follow your breath into the dream. AP Lacey shared the live. They get a follow, appreciate it. Okay, I'm already following. They must have shared the live before. They said, is it normal for my children to have the ability to control those dreams? My eight-year-old does. Absolutely, absolutely, because you know they're very new. The conscious mind is brand new. The physical body is brand new every single time you come into this physical reality, into a new life, right? So the ego is also brand new. So these things are very brand new and still developing. Just like the physical body is still developing, the conscious mind is still developing. It takes about seven, eight years to fully develop. Well, it's still not really fully developed, but to develop enough to where it's very pronounced. And that's when you start to have the subconscious awareness and the awareness of your soul and yourself as a being beyond the physical body starts to fade at seven, eight, nine years old. So yes, that's absolutely uh, possible and happens all the time. Superconscious is 17. Beautiful. Mixture M vet sharing the live. They get a follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know I mean, y'all sharing the live just means tells me that you value what you're receiving so much so that you think someone else may uh, receive value from it as well. What does it mean when you're in between sleep? Oh, what's that one say? What does it mean when you're in between sleep and you jolt out of your sleep? <laughs> so that the reverie state is when you're in between sleep and uh, and and being awake. So your consciousness, like I said, when you go to sleep at night, your consciousness is shifting from your physical body here in the 3D reality into your, really your astral body and your soul, your soul is made up of four different bodies. So into your astral body within the fourth dimension. But during that time, hey, Prima shared the live, they get a follow, appreciate it. During that time, there is a moment in which, you know, 
you're in between both. The shift hasn't fully happened. So it, it really represents that you're starting to become aware of this process that's happening, but you can, became too aware and too conscious. You became too conscious. Instead of becoming conscious of what's going on and continuing to go deeper, you became too conscious and came back to your body, probably because your attention came back to your body. You know what I mean? Because you are where your attention is. It's a universal truth that's no more true than when you're you know, astral projecting, lucid dreaming, all those types of things. All right. Anyone else have their skull crushed by a voice or just me? Oh, wow. Skull crushed by a voice. So what I would suggest is you, you need to definitely strengthen your willpower, Akira. Akira Estrella, definitely strengthen your willpower. So what I would suggest is become a mentee. There's The key to success course is going to teach you how to strengthen your concentration and willpower. Um, who would like more concentration? Who would like more willpower? Put, put a C in the chat or a W in the chat if you would like to have a stronger willpower or stronger level uh, le level of concentration, your ability to control your attention. C, W, C. Okay, so for all of these people, um, I have a, a key success course is going to teach you how to do that, okay? But as a mentee, if you become a metaphysical mentee, you get exclusive access to the key success course. And so if you use the promo code WORTHY, promo code WORTHY, uh, somebody throw a Kez or uh, Jeff or somebody throw the promo code in the chat for me. If you use the promo code worthy, then you will get uh, the one month exclusive access into the um, metaphysical mentor program. And then you can, you know, go take the key su su success course and increase your concentration and willpower. Yeah, promo code worthy right here. So on my page, if you go to the more info on my page, you use that code, you'll get your first month free. I mean, it's, it's like 99% off. Uh, it won't let me do 100% off. But you do a 99% off, and then you become a mentee. You get exclusive access to not just the Keys Success course, but the Dream Interpretation Masterclass. You get exclusive access to the um, the uh, uh, Visualization uh, course, the Life Force Exercises course that I'm still needing to wrap up here. Um, we got different lessons, uh, resources of all types. Um, and then also get a, be a part of the Discord chat, you know, and uh, put your put your dreams in and everything, and interpret your dreams, talk with other people in the community. It's beautiful. So all of those people go there now. We'll we'll still be here. You can come back. You know what I mean, but go put that in and do that. But anyways, the reason I was saying that is uh because your your willpower. You're needing to have stronger willpower uh, for that person. Jade and Jolie shared the live. They get a follow. So I can't find that old dream, but essentially, you know, their skull was being crushed, so they need to strengthen their willpower. If you ever need a high ticket closer, let me know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, pre I appreciate that, really. But, um, you know, the high ticket item of $3,000 for one-on-one -on -one is just because I don't really have the time. And, uh, and I make it that high just because, you know, anytime that someone does do one-on-one, -on -one, then um, then that's what makes it worth it for me. You know, I had a one-on-one -on -one session um, last month and uh, or, uh, last week, and, um, and it was really it was really powerful. You know, and and I like to you know it's not just like you know one hour or anything. We just dive deep. I'm just we'll go as deep as you want for as long as you want. It can be four hours, five hours. So for me to be able to really block out that much time, you know, got to make it worth it because I, I work I work sixty hours selling loans. I do this. I'm making lessons for the mentees. You know, what I mean, I got to fit in time to finish all of that. But so I'm not really uh, interested. I say all of that to say, you know, I mean, I guess I guess I would be interested in, in that, but I'm not really too interested in having a whole lot of one on ones uh, just because I have so many other things going on. But, you know, actually, you know what, Freddie? Hey, let's let's talk, man. Let's chat. Let's see what that might look like. Let's chat. You know, what I mean, because I'd be more than happy to, you know, do a 50 percent commission. You know, what I mean, if, if that's the case. I'll do a 50% commission because, because really, if, if that, then I can, re you know, if that really jumps off, it can replace some other things to have more time. Which one is the promo code for? The promo code is for the metaphysical mentorship. The promo code is for the metaphysical mentorship. The promo code worthy is for the metaphysical mentorship. For the flashy AM share the live again. They get another follow. <laughs> There has been a current awareness of transcending into five, transcending to five D. No, you cannot transcend to five D. The <laughs> you are in the physical body. You are your awareness. Whether no matter what you're aware of, your consciousness is always in the physical body, the soul, and the spirit. So you are already in the five D. You are already in the four D. 
you're already in the 3D. Ascension, yes. So you can elevate your consciousness up into the 5D, but the transcendence really is the power of the superconscious mind, the mind that the spirit uses in the fifth dimension. Um, so a anyways, um, that means you're, yeah, <laughs> not, not necessarily. Off topic, but it's off topic. But do you do Reiki? Not, uh, not specifically the Japanese uh, technique that was created in like what the 1800s or something like that with Reiki. But energy uh, transmutation, energy healing. Oh yeah, absolutely, most certainly, most definitely. But uh, not from the um, the school of thought of Reiki. Oh yeah, metaphysical mentorship free month promo code worthy. Yeah, appreciate appreciate that, Jeff. Well, our goal is to get a thousand mentees. Have a thousand mentees in the community is going to strengthen the community that much more than what it already is, and um, and really do a lot. And it's going to really, because then I can really focus a lot more uh, attention on the mentees, and we'll go back. To, we'll, I mean, even even well before we get to a thousand, we'll go back to, uh, you know, if, once we get to a hundred, we'll go back to having weekly zooms and everything, and uh, probably b more than one week biweekly, because we have some people in uh in Europe and and Africa that um, can't really enjoy the Zooms because of the time of day. <laughs> but anyways, use your eyes instead of the brain to keep thoughts out. Okay, well, your thoughts are coming from your mind, which is completely separate from your brain. There's a difference between the mind and the brain. The brain is just a physical organ that helps uh, control the, the body, but your mind is what programs the brain. The mind is meant to be programmed. What is the biggest takeaway from the knowledge you gained? The biggest takeaway from the knowledge I gained is pretty much right back to where we at. Dream interpretation is your number one tool for self-awareness. And I say that to really say that the understanding the universal language of the mind is by far the most valuable thing that I have ever learned. If I could trade all the knowledge that I have for only one thing, that is the one thing that I would trade it for. Understanding the universal language of the mind. Because I can unlock all the rest with that. I can unlock all the rest and recreate all the rest with that one thing. <sighs> hey, yes, Jay says she just joined. Beautiful. Actually, oh, hold on. Uh, let me go and check because <laughs> I think yesterday when I did that promo code, Okay, okay. I just wanted to go and check real quick because uh, Jay says she just joined and we throwing out the promo code, but I forgot I only made 20 of those yesterday or the other day and uh, last time we were on here on the live and there's eight left. So uh, for reference, my real name is Capri. Oh, okay, okay, Capri. Well, I look forward to seeing you in the Discord chat and uh, with the other mentees, uh, some of them up in here. So uh, yeah, everybody welcome Capri. Appreciate it, appreciate it. We'll see you in the Discord chat. I'm excited. But yeah, so there's eight more, eight more for anybody who wants to become a mentee and try it out. Try it out for one month. Just give it a try. You know, you get a free, you get a free month. Uh, I think it's like 50 cents or something like that, 99% off. So give it a try. See if it works for you. You know what I mean? If you're someone who's uh, serious about accelerating your soul growth and spiritual development, really going deeper with understanding your dreams, you know, you get the dream interpretation masterclass, that whole uh, mind diagram. You know, I spent an hour and a half on that or an hour on that, uh, decoding that and breaking it down for you, you know. I'm almost out of tea. I'm gonna have to make me some more tea. So I'm almost out of water too. <laughs> I'm on a uh, I'm on a fast for the day, fasting today. Um, one of the mentees asked about that the other day, and uh, I realized I hadn't fasted for a few months, and I think I'm gonna start getting back to. Uh, I used to fast one day a week for like a year to um, like a year and a half, and so I want to I want to kind of get back to that. And so I, I just decided to fast today because they asked about it. How to get the Discord. The Discord, uh, become a mentee. Use the promo code WORTHY. There's eight spots left. Um, I'll go to my page on the, the more info, metaphysical mentorship. Put in the promo code WORTHY. It'll reduce it by 99% uh, for your first month. And then you get into the Discord chat. You learn from the eyes, not the brain. Exactly. Yeah, but you learn from more than the eyes. You learn from all of the senses. 
You learn from all of the senses. You know what I mean? You learn from all of the senses. The smell, the touch, taste, hearing, sight, thoughts. You learn from all of the senses. All right. I really want to understand my dreams more. Beautiful. All right, Jade. What I suggest, Jade, is as soon as you, uh, you'll you get the email, you know, respond back to the email, and you'll get the link into the, um, into the Discord chat. You'll get the other promo codes for all of the other courses, and I highly suggest one. I always suggest the Keys to Success course. Um, there'll be a PDF guide telling you what to start start out with because there's a lot so i don't want it to be overwhelming so there's a little pdf guide for you to follow but the dream interpretation Masterclass, i would dive into that and i would i would take that course back to back i would take that course back to back write your dreams down in the discord chat uh some of the other senior mentees like kids that's in here he's a senior mentee he'll interpret some of the dreams for you you know i'll follow up with some and help him also you know because he's learning how to interpret other people's dreams so give him insight on you know, how to be better at that as well as interpret some dreams on my own. What do you think about visitations by Jesus Christ in dreams? Oh, this is a great one. Has anyone else ever had Jesus or any other God figure show up in their dream? Put a G in the chat if you ever had uh, any type of God show up in your dream. Put a G in the chat if you've ever had any type of God show up in your dream. So we all create our own reality, Right. But that's not just words. A lot of people say that, but they don't really understand it. You know, they don't really understand exactly how they're creating. They don't understand their own power. They don't really know it. You know what I mean? And so someone who's starting to become aware that you create your own reality, but don't really truly understand the metaphysical mechanics of manifestation or how they truly do that. They don't really understand their own power. They're going to have a, a, a dream of some sort of God, like Jesus Christ or any other kind of God showing up in their dream. You know, because that God is going to represent the fact that you you are unaware of your own creative power. You're seeing you're seeing the power to create your reality outside of yourself. The source of the source of who you are and what you experience is outside of yourself. But the fact that you see him in the dream represents there's a small you're starting to become a little more aware that that source is within you. So what I would suggest with a dream like that is look at look at the experiences you've been having in your life and then look at the thoughts that call that created that experience like right now we're all experiencing this live you know i'm experiencing it through giving it to you reading the chat you're experiencing through receiving it you know you scroll through stopped for some reason what thoughts caused you to have this shared experience with us what thoughts led to this maybe it was you know a thought what what thought led you to stop scrolling you know, but we're mostly focusing on dreams. What what thought did you have? Like, did you have a recent dream and you thought, man, I wonder what that dream meant? And then now, now here you've created an experience for yourself for the algorithm to bring you this live. You know, what thoughts create? What else are you experiencing? You know what I mean? And and when you try and when you when you do it with smaller things like that, you get into the practice of Twinkle Eyes just joined. Appreciate it. Wonderful. I was wondering. I was wondering when. <laughs> Beautiful. So, uh, <laughs> tell you, yeah, Tarak is live. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it, Kez. Kez, man, Kez, hey, hey, if you need any example of how far you can grow within one year of this mentor program, man, look at Kez, man. Because it's all just going to depend on how much you invest in yourself. I'm just showing the way. That's why it's a mentor program. It's not a class or anything like that. It's not, I'm, I'm not teaching anything. I'm not here to fail nobody. I'm not going to hold you back. I'm not going to determine whether you pass or not. You're going to determine that. I mean, I'm not a coach. I'm not going to pull you out the game. I'm not going to substitute you for somebody else. I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell you what plays you got to play or I'm going to call a timeout on your life. You know, I'm a mentor. So I'm going to tell you how to, how to go and how to navigate, how to adjust, how to shift, how to implement or re-implement. But it's on you to actually put it, put it to the test and put it to practice. You know what I mean? And invest in yourself. But uh, but yeah, Kez is a, a great example of that man. He, he's he's like 14 years old. It's only been one year, and I, I keep on thinking he's 16 now. <laughs> Even though he's still, it's wild, man. It's wild. But anyways, um, anyways, you create your own reality, and the more aware that you can become of the of the mechanics of 
how your thoughts that cause you to create this experience in smaller portions. The more you practice that, the more you can um, get better at identifying that in the bigger experiences in your life. Like, man, I got fired from my job. And so it, the more you practice how your thoughts have caused you to experience what you're experiencing, how your thoughts from the past created your experience in the present with smaller things, the better you can do that with smaller things, then the better you can be at doing that with the bigger things. Like, man, I got, I got fired today. What led to that? Oh, well, you know what? I did spend the last three months talking about how shitty of a job this is, how much I don't like this job, how much, how much I'm threatening to leave this job. You know what I mean? But I never took any action on it. I never put together a resume. I never submitted applications. I never even looked to see if anyone else was hiring. I never even asked any of my friends if their places were hiring. But I just, I just talked shit about this job. And then ultimately, since I didn't take any action, the universe took action for me because those thoughts were manifesting, whether I liked it or not. I, spent, I gave it so much time and attention and energy, they were going to manifest. So since I didn't take action on consciously choosing how it manifested, it unconsciously manifested in me getting fired. You know what I mean? But if you don't have that practice, you don't have that awareness, you're going to see the cause of your creation outside of yourself. Jesus controls what I experience. God controls what I experience. You know what I mean? But Jesus Christ is your own human imagination.